Shonen Jump is something I mentioned a lot of in my Bakuman video, naturally of course, but I never really got into what it actually is. Those who are well acquainted with manga are definitely already familiar with it in one way or another, so I figured I didn't have to explain it. But I figure a lot of my tiny audience is pretty frickin' cool, so I guess I'll have to put it into laid men's terms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, fuck. <laughs> Shonen Jump is a Japanese weekly magazine that releases some of the biggest titles in anime and manga. If you haven't heard of the magazine, you've definitely heard of these. Dragon Ball. Naruto. Naruto again. Dragon Ball again. Hey man, you, you cool? Uh, okay. And many more all started- Dragon Whoa! Ball again again! Again! And many more all started in the pages of Shonen Jump. So yeah, it's actually kind of cool to read manga there. In fact, manga as a whole is a huge deal in Japan. There are plenty of different magazines being released weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, making for a huge catalog of quality series available for pretty dirt cheap at your local convenience stores. And alas, atop all of these magazines is Shonen Jump. That's why it's such a privilege to have a series running in it. Yeah, Berserk may be considered by many to be the best manga of all time, but it's released in a magazine, you know, all the way down here. If you get a series in Jump, that series is going to be read by the masses, and it won't go unnoticed. Even if it's a flop, you'll definitely have caught some eyes that will follow you to your next series in your next magazine, potentially. Magazines are a dominating market in Japan, and it's really fascinating to see. Who would have thought it? Look at these sales prices. That's about, like, 286,648,000... Okay. 286,645,809. Wait a second, what's this? Oh dear god, it's going down! Lord have mercy! Why did it have to turn out like this? Manga is supposed to bring joy! Is joy missing from the world? How am I supposed to sit here and watch as a creative art form slowly fizzles out of existence? It's over! It's over. Wait, I can help! I have the passion and drive to express my simple pleasures, one of those being Weekly Shonen Jump. I have a basic set of video editing skills and a lot of days off. I have the reach. Okay, well, I don't have the reach yet, but anyways. If I could just entice those interested in Jump or manga to make a change in their reading habits for the low price of $2 a month, I could make a substantial difference. With a huge catalog of not only new series being currently released, but nearly every series that has ever graced Jump's pages, all available to read online or even download for on-the-go reading, that's almost limitless manga at your fingertips. I can inspire a new generation of manga readers. All I have to do is just convince them that there are some fantastic series just starting to flourish in Jump. It's a daunting task, but I think I can do it. Wish me luck. And thank you. Hey, so welcome. Uh, so Mashal, it's it's not that good. You don't have to read it. Oh, shit. Good about to climb, represent next time. If you love me, you go smile. If you hate me, you go grind. Uh. First things first, we have Roboco. This one only has three chapters available right now, so it's really new, and there won't be a lot I can say about it. The year is 20XX. And having a robot maid is considered to be a common household appliance. After finally convincing his mother that their family should get one, the mother complies, and they order a cheap one. And they end up with this. Hilarity ensues. Again, there's not a lot to go off of, but from the first chapter, there's already quite a few good laughs and some really absurd moments. Robico the robot is awful at being a maid, and seeing her play it off in a cutesy way, just like she was programmed to do so, despite her aesthetic, is pretty funny. Good start. I won't stop, so I'm on a hunt and up, guess what I just found? Always VIP with me, we post up, what? Mori King is easily my favorite comedy series in Jump right now. It's ridiculously goofy, and I love it. A young boy named Shoko raises a rhinoceros beetle pupa, and when it hatches, it hatches into this guy. 
He, for all intents and purposes, is still a beetle, but he can walk and talk like a man. Turns out he is to be king of the insect world and must face off against other heirs to the throne. Despite being a potential candidate to the king, he is in debt to Shoko for raising him, and wishes to remain as Shoko's pet. To simplify it a bit more, Mori King, the character, is kind of like if Griffith from Berserk was a little kid's pet beetle. He is consistently able to use his confidence and composure to completely swoon anyone and everyone, making friends and followers all over town. This is where most of the comedy comes from, as no one but Shoko's sister seems to really care that this guy is a rhinoceros beetle, leading to hilarious situations like having him enter a beetle wrestling contest, or a town pet show. Or how Mori King, the character, can go from being almost godlike in his stature, to doing things a normal rhinoceros beetle would do. It's absurd, but in the best way possible. There's not a lot more to it, but that's okay! Everything in this story, from the writing to the characters to the art, adds up perfectly for some good old-fashioned comedy. Give it a read if you, um, I don't know, want to laugh. When I hit the club, I'm the girl, so we love. Why not the bar got drank by the chug? And the black heat with the chicks and the drugs. Magu-chan God of Destruction is another comedy manga that recently released. That might be a theme in this video, I'm sorry, I can't get into action series as quickly. After a God of Destruction is successfully sealed away, a young girl finds the orb in which the god was sealed. 600 years later, in our present time, she mistakenly breaks open the orb, and the God of Destruction is once again released into the world. That's just a little cute looking squid. His power has been drained and he is a fraction of what he used to be, but his demeanor persists, so expect a lot of Black Knight from Monty Python's Holy Grail type humor. Going into this first chapter, I expected nothing more than a normal comedy series, but despite this, it actually caught me off guard with how much heart it had in it. It still is funny, don't get me wrong, but unlike my videos, there's definitely going to be more to it than just laughs. The framework for character development has already been set, and in addition, this series actually seems to be going somewhere. Characters have more to them than just being setups to jokes. Heck, I've read three chapters of Magu-chan, and I feel I understand the main character pretty damn well already. We know she generally lives alone due to her father's death and her mother's job, and because of this, she has built up a tough exterior. But this has also left her vulnerable to loneliness, and in this way she is able to relate to the god of death. What's my favorite part about it so far? Glad you asked. My favorite part about the series is its setting. Having the series take place in a tiny seaside town is refreshing, and I'm hoping as an audience we get to learn more and more about the town and its inhabitants. I mean, already within the first chapter, a climactic moment comes from the specific setting, so I've got high hopes that the author realizes the setting's potential. The little seaside town has some real Suritama and Barakamon vibes, which is a great sign. It's pretty cute overall, and I can tell the main relationship is going to be pretty fun to follow along with. I'm excited to see where it goes, and to follow the journey of these two great characters inside their small harbor town. After all, there is more to Japan than just Tokyo, and <laughs> I would know. I've watched Kimi no Nawa. It's some good fun. It actually has already had a pretty rad moment early on, so I'm glad that it turned out not to be just a straight up comedy. Yet there is still one series that has managed to steal my attention weekly. Shonen Jump.